composing gloves here and today we're gonna go over the master settings this is just a reference video in case you're wondering what these things are should be a pretty fast video so first off we have glide glide over here controls a form of portamento or legato we'll talk about that in a sec so if i play two notes what if i want them to glide between them so this would be a style of legato called portamento and I have what's on auto. Let's turn that off. So now it takes whatever the last note I hit was and it was going to pitch bend from that last note to the new note. If we have auto on, this effect will only happen when I play notes continuously. So if I play a note and a note, we hear there's no portamento. But if I play them continuously, we hear the portamento. If I make this even longer, there it is but I'm able to do that as well. So that could be a pretty nifty setting to know about. It's at least good to know what, what the auto does. So coming over, we have Unison. Now we've already got a video on this Unison. This is the global Unison. That's I think two videos ago. So go ahead and check out that video. But we did not talk about these knobs specifically. However, we did talk about them when we talked about the Unison and the video on the analog the component, the analog generator. But just a quick refresher, Unison clones your voices. This is a, this will literally make three individual notes every time you hit a note. So you wanna be really careful with this as it gets stacked CPU as we already talked about. You can detune each individual voice or not the individual voice. You can't like set the detune, but you can cause there to be more. You could set the spread. This is like a stereo field and then blend. If you have three or more voices, we're gonna add a two, it disappears. If you have three or more, you're able to adjust the balance between mono and stereo. So if I have it at blend at zero, it's mono. When I bring it up, we get a stereo spread and blend just negotiates it when it's above three. So that's Unison for you. Again, be careful with this one. Not a setting you should be touching unless you kind of know what you're doing as far as the processing trade-offs go. I guess you could still touch it, just you've been warned. So we have polyphony. This is the number of notes you're allowed to play at once. Let's turn the glide off. It's going to drive me nuts. All right. Now, if we go down to one, we are offered legato, which this makes sense because we can only have one voice. So this legato makes it so that our envelopes do not re-trigger every time. So if I play a note and it hits sustain, it will immediately go to the next note without re-triggering an attack phase of an envelope. Versus if I go to re-trigger... can hear all the clicks and pops that's our envelope being re-triggered over and over so that's the difference between the two probably gonna want well actually this one you could go for both legato and re-trigger are very common settings i'm reaching for uh so we've got master pitch just tuning in general you shouldn't need a demo of this but just in case we could tune it down we can tune it up it's just tuning we have a pitch bend range. Now, if your keyboard's not here, you can click this little icon down here, cause keyboard to pop up. And that, am I covering this? Nope, I'm not covering this. This is the pitch bend range. And this is just controls, when I move this pitch bend wheel, how far it'll go. So right now it'll go one semitone. We can have it be much bigger. That's, that's what the semitone is. We can make it huge. Good thing to know about. But I think by default it's two. I had it at one, but I think it's usually two. Now these guys aren't technically part of the master, um, but we're gonna cover them anyways. We've already sort of talked about these, but you can gain stage each individual lane. You can mix them in and out so you can do a little bit of this wet dry madness and you can change where it sends to. So we could send a lane three or the master, pretty handy controls. The most common thing I do is I usually will change it to master and that just sends it straight out to this fader out here, which is just the master fader. You can double click to reset it. And we see we actually have less options so they don't let you go backwards. You can only go forward. So lane one has the most options. You get less options as you go. Something to know about. I guess to just complete the ensemble, we have our macro knobs up here. You can hook these up to whatever you want, automate them. And you've got your mod wheel up here. Now, I don't have these things hooked up by default in FL. I know you can have them hooked up. I just don't. Uh, if you hook up the correct controllers with your MIDI controller, it should just work right out of the box. 
If you have any questions about this, let me know. Just a little auxiliary video in case you were a bit fuzzy on what any of these things were. Subscribe and have a blessed day.